Good morning. Welcome to OCA's Daily Devotion. Hi, I'm Coach Mac McCray. It is an honor and a privilege to have this opportunity to do a devotion with you this morning. Before we get started, we will start with a word of prayer. All wise and merciful Father, thank you, Lord, for your love, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you, Lord, for watching over us as we slumbered and slept last night. But early this morning, dear Lord, you found favor and you touched us and allowed us to rise up to see a day that we've never seen before, nor shall we see again. These are many blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. This morning devotion, we're going to talk about weeds in the garden. And we all know if you plant a garden, how weeds can cause a lot of problems. But in this message today, we're going to tell you how to do and produce good fruit in the midst of weeds. Our scripture will come from Matthew chapter 13, verses 40 and 41. And it reads, As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of all his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. Explaining verse 40, as therefore the tares are gathered, as it is represented in the parable, that in the time of harvest, the tares shall be gathered out from the wheat first, and being bound in bundle, shall be burnt in the fire. Verse 41, so shall it be in the end of this world. Hypocritical and heretical men and all former professors shall be gathered out from among the saints and the several churches among whom they have been and shall be together cast into everlasting burning, prepared for the devil and his angels whose children they are. Now, as we get into the lesson of the weeds in the garden, I have weeds in my garden. I have made sure I planted my garden in good soil. And yet, I still have weeds. As you probably know, one of the biggest enemies of good gardening is weeds. Weeds will rob the soil of the nutrients that help young plants to grow, and many times they will choke out good plants. Weeds are just like friends that are gathered around you. They're trying to distort you, discourage you, and trying to get you to not do the will of God. What can you do? Well, you can take a garden tool and chop down the weeds. But if you do that, you will probably chop down some of the good plants by accident. So when your friends are trying to get you not to do the will of God, it is not your job to try and remove them. You do not judge them. You leave that up to God. Your job is to stay focused and do the will of God. Another way you can get rid of weeds is to buy some weed killer. This stuff really kill the weeds. The biggest problem with weed killer is that it doesn't know a tumbleweed from a tomato plant. It kills everything that it touches. Sometimes it is best to leave the weeds alone until it is time to harvest the crop. Then you can separate the weeds from the good plants. Here's a story about Jesus. One time Jesus told a story that compared his church to a garden that was infested with weeds. Sometimes there may be people in the church that don't really belong. And we're not just talking about the church, but this is what Jesus was making his church. It compares to the garden. But there could be people in school, your classroom, your group, 
your neighborhood, your community. You don't judge. You allow God to do his job. They do things that aren't very loving and they don't seem to believe what the Bible teaches. They sometimes say hateful things about the other members of the church and try to hurt them. They are like weeds in the garden. We have to be very careful about trying to remove those people from the church. In his story, Jesus talked or Jesus said, what shouldn't we worry about pulling up the weeds that grow around us? If we do, we may do more harm than good. He suggests that we leave the weeds for guards to take care of and concentrate on doing what he wants us to do, which is producing good fruit. So in other words, it is not our job to judge. It is not our job to pull up these weeds because when you try to remove those weeds, sometimes in the midst of pulling and removing those weeds, you shake and you loosen the foundation around the good plants. Sometimes you will accidentally pull out the good plants, which means sometimes when you're trying to judge, you will hurt the good people around you accidentally because you're trying to weed. It is not our job, job to judge, but it's our job to stay focused on the will of God. Dear Father, help us to love one another and leave the matter of judgment in your hands. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. My time is up. I thank God for yours. And with that, I love you, I love you, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. That is from the basement of my heart to the balcony of my mind. 